again, everybody. Welcome to another exciting edition of the uh, St. Arnold Video News. This time we're coming to you from the Montrose section of Houston, right in the, uh, the heart of Houston. And we're here at Ziggy's Bar and Grill today. And uh, this is kind of a treat. This is the second video in a series that I'm doing on places that actually cook with our beer, and in this case, root beer. So today we're here at Ziggy's, and they actually make a special once a week where they do St. Arnold root beer baked beans. And that's something I'm really, really interested in because I've always tried to cook with our root beer, and I've never really had success with that. So Kevin Strickland is the owner here. So he is the one that's going to show us the secret behind what they do. Uh, sounds good. I've heard about them for a while, and now I'll actually get to taste them. So uh, you'll get to taste them or see how they taste right along with me. Enjoy, everybody. Okay, so now we're inside Ziggy's to uh, see the secret of the root beer baked beans. Kevin Strickland joins me now. Hey, Kevin, uh, okay, the first thing I have to ask you about it is a lot of people have tried to cook with our root beer. I'm one of those people. And sometimes root beer stuff turns out to root beery, so that's all you taste. So what is the secret to getting it, the root beer flavor in moderation? The secret is actually two part. I put in half of a bottle of root beer at the beginning and half at the end. Okay. So you still want to get a little bit of that root beer taste, but you don't want it to be overwhelming. Um, all right, so I guess tell me uh, what goes into the St. Arnold root beer baked beans. Sure. A little about the recipe, there's no original recipe anymore. It's everybody's always sort of borrowing from somebody else. So I saw on Cafe Zelko's menu that they were doing St. Arnold root beer braised short ribs, which I thought sounded fantastic. And then I realized that baked beans would really lend themselves well to that because for baked beans, you sort of want, you want the savory and you want the sweet aspect to it. And root beer is perfect for that. You know, a lot of people in the South make a ham at the holidays with Dr. Pepper. So root beer is phenomenal for the baked beans. So simply taking a, a, a baked bean recipe and adapting it. Okay, so let's see what goes into it. Um, it's pretty simple. We've already made some, uh, we took some navy beans and cooked them for a couple of hours in chicken stock, uh, onions, garlic, salt, and pepper. And then when they're done, you can tell they don't have any more liquid, which is really important because we're gonna replace that liquid with other stuff with the root beer and ketchup and honey and stuff. And it uh, looks like there's a lot of other goodness out here on the table too. Yep, <laughs> we've got uh, sauteed onions. We've got uh, some of our honey pepper bacon that we've cooked really crisp and uh, then crumbled. Garlic. And cook the bacon before you put it in the pot. Yeah, because uh, first it, you want it to loose, let go of some of the fat, because bacon's got a lot of fat, because then you don't want the beans to be too uh, greasy. Okay. And then they'll uh, stay a little bit crisper in the baked beans, because these are gonna cook for a couple of hours. Okay. <clears throat> um, salt, um, a lot of people reach for table salt. I don't think table salt's any good for cooking. Um, you really want kosher salt or sea salt, because it's a little sweeter. Okay. And the grains are a little larger. <clears throat> so you don't have to use as much. All right. Uh, red pepper flakes, just because I love red pepper flakes for the kick that they do. Little spice, give. yeah. Yeah, and it's easy to measure red pepper flakes. Uh, garlic, um, a secret ingredient is sriracha. Sriracha is nice because it's got that kick that you want, but it's not as bitter or as vinegary as, say, Tabasco. Uh, Dijon mustard, uh, honey, ketchup, and most important ingredient. Of, in of course, <laughs> I mean, everything we do is the most important. I yes. mean, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you know, and a, a, a great way to use uh, ketchup is, you know, you've got that bottle and you've been waiting for it to go away. At the restaurant, we have this issue. So I take whatever bottles of ketchup, we haven't finished yet and I use those. So there's no secret to the ketchup part of that. All right. And that's it. And you cook it for how long? Till they're done. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a couple hours. All right, so let's venture into the kitchen to see the finished product. All right, so there you see all the ingredients for the root beer baked beans. And uh, the finished product in that it's all put together 
But um, Kevin, you were saying it gets a little darker once it bakes for a couple yeah, hours. Yeah, these will cook for like an hour and they'll caramelize a little bit. And then what's really important is at the end, we're gonna add the other half of the bottle of root beer. So you get just the right amount of the root beer taste. That's really nice. All right, but not too much. Assuming you don't drink this first, right. I have to open another <laughs> sure. bottle. <laughs> okay, and when can people get the root beer baked beans? I do this every Wednesday. So we're uh, talking about them on Tuesday because I like to make them a day in advance. And then we'll do the baked beans with brisket every Wednesday. All right. Thanks, man. We appreciate the support. Thank you, Lenny. Cheers. Cheers.